The STN series of pumps has been in production since 2000 and have been an extremely successful product to date. Produced from either polypropylene or ETFE, they cover the full spectrum of chemicals used in today's chemical, pharmaceutical and allied industries. When stripping down any pump, it is important to make sure that it is clean and free from all contaminants. To strip this pump, you firstly need to remove the six cap head screws and remove the casing. Here the suction cover is fixed unlike other pumps where it can be removed. When we remove the impeller assembly, inside the impeller assembly are the shaft and two axial thrusts, which can be removed leaving behind two rotating bushes. These can also be removed. The isolation shell is removed with the O-ring and then finally the locating flange. These are all the components of the large STN. There are different material options for the internals of the large STN mag drive pumps. You can have an ETFE assembly. Bear in mind that if you have an ETFE isolation shell, you will also need an isolation shell cover which adds extra strength. The static and rotating bushes and axial thrust shafts can also come in silicon carbide or graphite. Rebuilding the large STN is this process in reverse. Firstly, you will put the large guide flange on followed by the isolation shell and then replace one axial thrust on the shaft. Ensure that the grooves are facing inwards as these help with the lubrication of the bearings. Also make sure that the anti-rotation element fits into the anti-rotation element on the isolation shell. With the second axial thrust make sure that the grooves face inwards and ensure that the area is clean. Replace the o-ring. We advise replacing the o-ring during any repair or service. Replace the casing and then secure the cap head screws. When tightening the cap head screws ensure to tighten across the pump and not rotational and to the correct torque settings which will be in the manual. The STN range of mag drive pumps comes with the option of flange assembly. In the flange assembly you have two O-rings, one for suction and one for discharge. These are placed into the groove and then the flange and flange adapter are screwed on. 